her marriage. But first, Tammy Everson discusses the changes in the routine of her relationship. Distressed by the red flags raised by her boyfriend, Tammy comes to cheaters to quell her fears. He went to work every morning and comes home. I have dinner ready. We watch movies, me, him, and the kids. And we just have family moments. But just recently, he went to jail. After he went to jail, everything changed. He don't come home. You know, he won't answer his phone. He stays out late at night. I ask him questions. He won't give me an answer. Anthony, age 45, a construction worker accused of deconstructing his relationship with the mother of his children. Cheaters deploys a squad of operatives to surveil the home the suspect shares with Tammy. The suspect, known only as Anthony, leaves the home. Cheaters detectives follow the suspect and watch covertly as he arrives at an attorney's office. After concluding his business, Anthony goes on the move. The suspect drives to an unknown residence where an unfamiliar female gets into his car. When we had Anthony Jr., he was the love of his life. He was, you know, when I want, you know, when he cries, I would get up. He was like, no, I got him. But now, he don't spend any time with him. He used to go to his football games. He don't even go to the football games anymore. And our daughter, you know, she loves her dad. But he don't want to be bothered with her, you know. Go to your mom. It's like the kids getting on his nerve, every little noise, everything they do. And then he, he runs out and he, he leaves. And then the kids, they're like, why daddy acting like this? And I just tell him, maybe he's tired from work. You know, maybe he had a hard day. After some time, Anthony and his friend get out of the vehicle. The suspect and his mystery woman playfully clutch at each other as they cross the street. The pair shares a few illicit kisses by a fence near the street. Sometime later, the suspect escorts his other woman to her doorstep. Cheaters detectives note the passionate kisses the suspect gives his date. Having said goodbye, Anthony heads back to his car for the ride home to a suspicious Tammy. And if I catch him cheating on me, I'm taking the kids, and I'm leaving. No, I'm not leaving. That's my mother's house. I built that, and I, that's my... He's going to get his mother's ass out. I ain't going no mother's way. I deserve better, and my kids deserve better. Cheaters detectives stick to the home the suspect shares with Tammy. At some point during the day, Anthony leaves the residence. As do bloodhounds, cheaters investigators follow the suspect as he drives back to the residence he visited a few nights past. The woman, now identified as Nikki Smith, joins the suspect in his car. Anthony takes off and drives to the attorney's office. Smith waits by the vehicle as Anthony visits his attorney. A short while later, the suspect returns. Smith gives Anthony a huge returning kiss as though she hasn't seen him in days. The suspect and his paramour get into the car. Cheaters agents follow the pair back to Smith's home. Anthony spends some time kissing his companion. Eventually, Smith leaves her cheating honey. Anthony drives home to Tammy. Recognizing a routine, Cheaters investigators continue to stake out the residence the suspect shares with Tammy. As usual, Anthony appears, hops into his car, and then drives away. The suspect arrives at Smith's residence. As is also usual, Smith awaits the suspect. The young lady gets into Anthony's car. The pair drives to a neighborhood sandwich shop. The suspect holds Smith's hand as they walk into the joint. A short time later, the adulterous pair leaves the shop with their takeout. Anthony and Smith get back into the car. Clueless of the cheaters' operators that shadow them, the suspect and his lunch date drive directly back to Smith's residence. Anthony grabs his companion's hand to lead her across the street to a nearby park. The suspect finds a park table to sit and eat. 
However, Anthony spends more time handling his date than he does his food. After the aperitif of mother's milk, Anthony attacks his meal. Sometime later, with her arms wrapped lovingly around each other, the terrible two walk back to Smith's residence. Anthony joins Smith inside. After a long period of time, the suspect emerges alone. As Anthony leaves to go home, Cheater's agents leave to place a call to a disheartened Tammy. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that Tammy's suspicions reach reality, Cheater's calls to arrange a briefing. With butterflies in her stomach, Tammy preps herself for the worst possible news. Tammy, the first thing I'd like to say is thank you for coming out this evening. We have conducted our investigation. Before I show you what we have come up with, I want to forewarn you because some of the things I'm about to show you can upset you. The main reason I'm showing them to you is because it's to get you the truth of what's going on between your relationship with Anthony. You live with this man, you have children with this man, so you need to know what this man is doing. Right. All right? Yes. Are you prepared to see? Yes. All right. Tammy, we start our investigation outside of the residence you share with Anthony. A few moments later, we see Anthony walk out. He goes across the street, and he gets into his vehicle. As our detectives follow Anthony, he arrives at his attorney's office. Sometime later, he leaves his attorney's office, and then he arrives at this unknown residence where a woman gets in the car as he stops. She gets in the vehicle, they exchange a few words. What the Then they get out together, walk across the street, and go to a park. You see his arm around her? Well, he sits down, and she begins to get all over your man, touching him, kissing him. They then hold hands, walk away from the park. He walks her to her front door where they kiss. Are you serious? Multiple times, I'm dead serious. Your boy Anthony then walks away, gets back into his vehicle, and leaves. Really? Really, Anthony? This mother got too much free time on his hands. Continuing on with our investigation, Tammy, and this day we're outside of the residence that you and Anthony share. We see Anthony emerge, he walks over to his vehicle, and he gets in. As he leaves your house, our detectives follow him, and he arrives at that same residence from the previous day. A big nasty bitch. They drive away, and they arrive at his attorney's office together. A short time later, he comes out of his attorney's office. She's waiting on the bumper of his car. I'm up. And they kiss. That's when we see the two of them get in the vehicle. And before he can start the car, Tammy, he receives a phone call. What you're about to hear is the audio from that conversation. Tell me if you can remember Anthony talking to you on this day. Hey, babe. Who are you? You giving him the five hundred dollars that I gave you? Okay. When you coming home? Oh, so get How long is it gonna take? Uh, I ain't gonna be long. I ain't gonna be long, but you know, I, uh, I'm gonna be long. I love you. I love you too. All right. All right. Come on, come up. I don't blame you. He just said, I love you to you. Not only that, taking your money. That was your $500? Yes, that's my money. Okay, well, he took your money to that attorney's office with this female. After finishing up the phone call, completely lying to you, I did see him step out of the vehicle, so she may not know, but still, it doesn't matter. They return to her residence. We see them kissing in the vehicle multiple times. What the Before she then steps out, fixes her shirt, and walks back up to her residence. With everything that you've just seen here, I mean, how are you even feeling about this man, this gentleman that you just bailed out in a sense? Correct I me if I'm wrong. I'm feeling some type of way right about now. Why don't we go ahead and get on the road? Call Tex Gomez, give me a location. They're together somewhere. We just need to get that location. Once we do, we're on them. Are Let's you ready? This way, please. Gomez, what's good, man? They're at Atlas Bail Bonds? All right, we'll be there ASAP. Reunion and Riverfront Drive. Thanks. See you soon. Bye. They're together right now. They're, really? Yeah, they're at a bail bonds place. 
we get there quick enough, we can catch them together. But yes, he's got eyes on them. That's our location right there, Atlas Bail Bonds. All right, let's just roll up and get out. Man, he's got a lot of nerve. We're about to see what those feel like. You ready? Yes, I am. All right, Tammy, let's go. There's Detective Gomez right there. Right here. Okay. He's right there. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. What is going on? Who the is this? What the you doing? What the is you doing? Hey, what's Anthony, what's going on, man? What the is you doing? Coming up next, the conclusion. They're together right now. They're, really? Yeah, they're at a bail bonds place. What the f is going on? What the f are you doing? So, Anthony, what's going on, what man? What the f is you doing? Anthony. And who the f is you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you know who this is? It's my girl. Who is this? It's my girl. Yo, brother. Are you crazy? What the f Anthony, why are you stumbling are you all over the place, man? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Anthony, you have nothing to say about this? You know he's been with her for 14 years and has two children, right? Oh, 14 years. 14 years. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this what you want, Anthony? This is how you my five money? That $500 to your bail bondsman, to your attorney? This how you, that's how you do me and the kids? Yeah. Yeah, bitch! That's all you have to say is, yeah, you don't even want to apologize or anything? Bitch! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You've been with her for 14 years. You have two no. children. Bitch. Why don't we take this? Why don't we take this outside? Bitch, I wish you would. What's going on, Let me talk. Anthony? Can I talk to you for I a second, you Anthony? Said, are you gonna pay for my? Ticket? I got you, man. Just chill out. I don't know what's going on. It's crazy. Yeah. Anthony, where are you going? Why are you, you going? Are you gonna pay for my tickets, Anthony? Huh? I need I you pay for my. Where you going? What about my tickets? Where are you going? Where the f are you going, Anthony? Anthony, where are you going to run to, man? Where are you running to? Bitch, get out the motherfucking way, ho. Security, pull him apart. Watch this rebar. Watch that rebar. Bitch, bring your bitch ass back here. Anthony, where are you running to? Bring your bitch ass back here. We just want to talk to you for a I second. I got something for your bitch no, ass. No, 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 no. Why are you running from the truth? Here, it's, dude. Your girl's over there. Just talk to me. Hold up, this what is happened? Too what happened? What's going on? What you doing? If he stops, will you talk to him? Get out of my face! What the f going on? I know you Listen, she hired us because when you got out of jail, Anthony, there was some stuff going on. You weren't talking to her. You weren't talking to the kids. What happened? Did you make a mistake? I mean, I have multiple days of you of you hanging out with this other woman. Who is that girl? I mean, I just met her out of jail. So what? What about her? Fourteen years, two children. You want to throw all that away? Baby, you want to pay me no I ain't enough for you. You have nothing else to say. Just calm down. I mean, this is the person who got you out of jail. I'm sorry, baby. What are you sorry for? Calm down. That's a hair. Where's my mother's hair? I got it. I got it. Where the hell go? She says she visited you every single day that you were incarcerated, even brought the kids, man. And this is how you're going to pay, you know, repay her for all that? 14 years, it's a long time. No, it's Somebody a long better get time. that bitch a ride, because she's not getting a mother call with my man. He going to pay my mother tickets? Now, somebody better get that bitch a ride, because she ain't getting in the car with you. Getting in the car with who? Yeah, now, you he ain't getting in the car with him? Yeah, he no. getting in the car with me? No. Anthony, yeah. what the you gonna do? What the you gonna do, Anthony? You said you gonna pay my mother Did somebody hit my mother man? Have you lost some mother What you mean I don't hit on your man? What you mean I don't hit on my man? What you mean I don't hit on your man? Somebody better get that bitch a ride, because she, she's not getting that car. That's all it is to it. She ain't like getting in that car. What you gonna do? You said you gonna pay my ticket. What you gonna do? You 
gonna take your man. I got you, baby. Anthony. Anthony, you come here, Anthony. Anthony ain't going no more. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you for a second? Anthony ain't going no motherfucker. Anthony, come here. Anthony, come over here. Anthony, come here. You're gonna be a man, or are you just gonna walk away? Yeah, yeah, he gonna walk away. What about the kids? You got two kids, man. What about the kids? Come here, nice place. Anthony. Anthony, come here. There's people in work for me right now. We gonna. Somebody take me home. All right, you wanna get out of here? Yes. Pay my damn tickets. I ain't trying to be wanted. He told me he gonna help me. Let's go. Anthony, you just gonna run away? Hell yeah. yeah. That hoe. Anthony. Open the door. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bitch, Come you ain't know. Bitch, you ain't know. Come on. Bitch, you ain't know. Anthony, will you just talk to her for no, a second? I ain't got time to talk. I'm not talking to you, Nikki. I'm talking to Anthony. Talk to hey, shut the up, hoe. He ain't gonna talk to her. You want to say you want to say one last word before he leaves? Let's go. Let's go. Load up. Let's load up. Load up. Hey, watch out. Here you go. You okay? Yes. Tammy, that man back there can't be the man that you fell in love with. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, it's not. He's it's not. He's not the man that I fell in love with. So listen. Coming up next. Otto reluctantly adopted by Leonard Crahan. Infidelity in his first marriage makes him cautious about his girlfriend's peculiar spiritual endeavors. Fearing a great white lie is poisoning his heart, Leonard seeks the method to her madness. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheers. Cindy and I met at a party. Uh, turns out we had a mutual friend, but this was the first time we had met. You know, we really became friendly at the party and then started seeing each other shortly after that. Things moved pretty fast. Recently, she has a lot more free time than I do because I'm always working. She started some class, and I don't really even know what it is. Uh, she said it was some sort of therapeutic thing. I, I, don't, I don't think she meant really therapy, but something that she goes and does, rather than go to the class and come home and tell me about it. She'll go to the class, and she'll then go out for a drink with a couple of her friends in the class. She'll call or text that they went out and stayed too late, so she's going to stay over at her friend's house or, you know, tends to coincide with the, with the evenings that she goes to class. I just feel that her focus has changed. It's not really as strongly on us as it was. She seems distant. I'm pretty convinced that she would be the one. She, she, we, we could be together forever. I, and I, and that's saying a lot considering that I don't, I never really thought I could be with anyone else after my first marriage. If I found out for sure that she was cheating, I'd feel pretty devastated. I feel like I have to resolve this for myself, one way or the other. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Cindy, age 37, a consultant suspected of finding primal ways to tax her relationship. Investigation day two, after receiving orders from Cheaters headquarters, field operatives remain on alert outside the suspect's office. They catch sight of their mark, identified only as Cindy, as she leaves work for the evening. She traipses across the parking lot and enters her automobile. Mobile units track her to a nearby yoga studio. She enters and remains inside for about an hour. Once she exits, investigators take interest in the unknown male walking by her side. 
The couple pause for a brief moment, and Cindy hands the man the keys to her car. He unlocks the door and takes over the driving duties. They drive across the highway and stop at a smoothie shop. They enter, order, and take a seat. The mood seems to be quite jovial as the couple enjoy their fruity beverages. Cindy's companion brushes the hair from her eyes as they watch a video on his laptop. They eventually exit the shop and wind their way to the man's residence. Two hours pass before Cindy, again dressed in her work attire, exits the house and departs for home. Investigation Day 5. Mobile units follow Cindy once she leaves work for the night. She soon arrives at a local carnival. She walks through the midway and finds her friend from previous surveillance. A background check on her companion, identified only as Alain, reveals him to be Cindy's holistic therapist. Alain offers Cindy his coat to guard against the chilly night air, and they continue their amusement park adventures. While Cindy is feeling like a kid again, it's Leonard who's in time out, as evidenced in this recorded phone call. Hello? Hey, babe, it's me. Hello, Steve, what's up? Uh, you want to meet me for dinner after work tonight? Um, I'd love to, but you have another therapy session tonight. Oh, all right. Well, uh, it's like you're there almost every night now. Well, can you pencil me in this weekend sometime, or see if you can make some time for me? Investigation Day 9. Cheaters agents tail the suspect from her office to Alain's home. She enters the residence and remains out of sight for half an hour. She eventually emerges with Alain and the couple head out in her car. They make their way to a Mexican restaurant. Inside, investigators pay close attention to their body language. It's obvious that Cindy's therapy sessions are paying off for Alain. He toasts to her health. After the hearty dinner, they make their way to a hotel. Ground agents cautiously tag along after the couple as they enter the lobby. Alain makes a phone call, presumably to establish his final destination. Upon confirming the room number, Cindy and Alain head up in the elevator. After losing sight of the couple, agents do some legwork and discover that the hotel is known in the sex-swapping community as the place to meet other willing couples. A few hours later, agents spot the couple exiting the hotel and returning to their car. With enough circumstantial evidence of wrongdoing, agents wrap up their case and return to headquarters to begin gathering the footage for Leonard's review. Coming up, the confrontation. With proof of the suspect's deception, Leonard is informed of the damning evidence. Initially relieved that his worry is grounded in reality, he is distraught by the truth he now must face. Leonard, thank you for being here tonight under what I know are very difficult circumstances. Our investigators have some information that they thought it'd be important for you to see. Are you prepared to go forward and review that? Yes, I'm ready. Leonard, as our investigation began, we had an operative who followed Cindy as she left work on this evening. She left work and went to a yoga center. It goes inside, and when class was over, she exits in the company of a gentleman. They both get in the car. He drives them both to a smoothie shop. Once inside, he takes out his computer. They seem to be reviewing some material. We see a number of small gestures that he makes, caressing her face, straightening out her hair. But what's telling is after they've finished their smoothies, they go to a residence. She goes inside in her yoga attire. As she exits, she's changed back into her work clothes mm -hmm. and returns home from there. 
as has happened before, Cindy leaves work, but on this day, goes again directly to this gentleman's home. They exit a short time later, travel to a restaurant. They go inside, have some dinner. They finish up and leave. Well, where they went after dinner was to a nearby hotel. Our operative was able to follow them inside. He's on the phone, evidently getting some final last minute directions. They get into an elevator and go to one of the floors. Now, we weren't able to get close enough to figure out which floor, but our detective did stay outside by the car. A substantial amount of time later, they return back to the car, drive back to this gentleman's apartment. She goes back inside before exiting and coming home that evening. Well, I guess it's obvious. Now, where did Cindy tell you she was going this evening? She said she was going to her class, the same one that she's been going to. With your help and that of a keystroke monitor that you placed on her computer, we were able to confirm through some emails that were deleted. Cindy is planning on going to an event or some function. And our detectives have followed Cindy to this gentleman's house yet again. Now we know where it is. It's not far, it's in a neighborhood a couple blocks away. Are you prepared to move forward and find out what specifically is going on in your relationship with Cindy? Yeah, I wanna go, I need to know. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's go get in the vans, I'll call the detective, get an update, see if they're still there, and then we'll figure out what to do at that point, okay? All right. All right, come with me. Yeah, we're finished up and we're headed up the street. What do you have on your side? More and more people have been going into the house. So it's, is it, an, does it seem like an open party? It does, the door's actually slightly ajar. Yeah, look for Gomez. Okay, look for Gomez on the street. Okay, about 100 feet away. Yeah, we see it, house with the red light. All right. Gomez, get ready to pan. What's up, get ready to pan. All right, what's happening? There appears to be a party right now, and she's inside. You're sure that she hasn't left? Okay. You ready? Yes. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Load out. Everybody load out. Load out. Matt. Everybody together. Let's get the lights out. Everybody together. Everybody slow. Everybody quiet. I don't know exactly what's going on inside. Everybody be careful. Right, right. Look, look, look. Hold on you can see under there there's some kind of party going on. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go ahead and open. Cindy? No! Yeah. What the hell? No! Jesus! It's going Good on. Lord! Oh. oh, Lord. Coming up, the conclusion. You can see under there there's some kind of party going on. What the hell? Good Lord! Oh God! I'm looking for a tall blonde, Cindy. Where is she? What kind of a place is this? Cindy? What the hell? Jesus! What the hell? What are you doing? Listen, my friend. Listen, my friend. Let's be a part of this. You're here for a reason. What the? What's going on here? Yeah, well, it's please. brought you here, man. Please. It's brought you here. Please. Who is this ass? Please. Come get on the bed with us. Let's join together. Let's go. Let's go. Please. Let's, let's go. Home. Listen, I this feel it. Really I, I can't feel deal it. with this. I feel it. Don't run away from this. Here's your chance, my friend. What are you doing here? I thought it was just a Mardi Gras party. I didn't know it was just Oh, crazy. come on. Is this what you want? No, is this your no, encounter no. group? Is this your therapy group? Hey, man. Listen. Listen, my friend. Listen. Who is this? Oh, what? Oh. What? Whoa! Well, let me put my hands on you. It, everyone makes sense. Feel me. Put they, your hands on me. No, no. Put your hands you, on me. Get, Feel it, man. Get, I'm on my who knees. is this guy? Hold, oh, hold my hands. Hold yes. no, my hands. Get away. Hold my hands. Jesus. No. Feel, Jesus. It. Feel the energy. He's not right. I thought he did. I thought Feel he Feel the energy, the man. Find this higher self. Yeah. Let it out. Let it out, my friend. I'm tired of what's going on. This 
is bull. Let it out, my no, friend. Let it out. I think this is what you want. No, it's not what I want. I want you. Scream. Scream right now. Let you. Let it out. Let it out, man. That's good. That's good. Yes, this is what you need. You need this. Christ. Don't touch me again. Coming to the bedroom. Coming to the bedroom with me. God. God, she wouldn't stop touching me earlier. God. Let's get the out of here. Let's get the out of here now. You're making a big mistake, man. Go Stay away. with me. I'm Stay sorry. here. I, met you. I can I can heal you. You can't heal know. anything. I thought Feel you could. Feel it. Feel it. Shut the That's up. It. Let it Just out. Shut the up. Let it out. Damn you. Scream. Come, touch me. Thing. Touch my hands. Touch them. Feel the energy. What, 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 Feel the energy, uh, my friend. Feel it. Uh, Held, hold hands together. You. Go off. Listen, man. Go out. Smell these flowers. They'll smell better than you ever smell them. Oh, my God. Oh. No, don't leave. I'm getting the out of here. Come back. Jesus. Come back. No. You're no. There. You're almost there. Oh. Feel it. Just feel, I understand. Stay there. Feel it. Leonard, no, he knows don't, I want to move. Don't, don't, don't listen. Feel me. He's going to fight with don't us. Don't leave. Let's you're you're so first. close. Stay here. Stay no, here. I'm not close. Inside. No, don't leave. No, you're free. Please. I'm sorry, Leonard. You belong to me. I'm sorry. No, you're mine. We're connected in the spirit world. You feel you're it. You're free. Out of here. You're free. Damn you. Don't leave. Feel it. <laughs> Just get out. Please. Man. You're making a big mistake. I'm coming with you. No! Get out! They need me! They need me! You need me! Oh, settle down, settle down. What is it? I'm sorry. What they I'm sorry, what is it? What is it that they need? What is it that you're teaching? I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm connecting her to her to her inner being. This is the most important day of her life. And if she leaves right now. Just settle down, settle down. Ugh. Yeah, but you were lying to me for like a month. And, and how are you connecting her to her inner life? Listen, like we, we, are all, we are all one Probably in the being. universe. You feel it. When I touch no, no, your no, shoulders, no, no. you right. feel you my energy. Don't me. you feel no. my energy? I feel something, but it's not energy. You feel it. No, see, don't deny it. Feel it. Feel no, my energy. No, you feel that? No, that's kind of right. We all, we're all connected. It's perfectly natural to be confused. Just let it out. Let it out. Tell don't me that you think out. I'm stupid. No. You like me. I've you just like told it. you. You feel it. I'm sorry. I'm still not sure I want you to come with me. I'm just, I don't know how I feel about this, but. Well, you don't want me to go back out there with him, do you? No. We've come so far in the last. Shut up! We've come Wait for this shut guy. up! Oh, God. I can talk to them. I can make this right. Let me talk to you. I I'm like gonna... to have fun. Listen, I Jesus, like get have... this mother. Out of here! No, listen, what are you doing? No, get out. Get out the vein, dude. That's enough. That's enough. Let's, let's, let's wind it up. Let's get out of here. You're making a big mistake. It's time to go. It's fine. It's fine. She'll be back. She'll be back. Load it up. You'll be back. You'll be back. How did you get mixed up with these freaks? You know where to find me. You come back too. We can do this. I'm willing for you to come along with us and get away from these people, but. We got a lot to talk about in terms of making up. We're gonna come together. Right here. You're gonna feel it. All right, guys, slow it up. All right, do it. Go. Charlie, inside. Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Come on, come on, come on, come on. The fear makes me hungry. Come on, come on. Luôn. Anh cứ được anh em nhá. Anh cứ giả không? Hay là 
Rồi anh sẽ giả đi Trời luôn này anh em Anh sẽ giả đi, anh sẽ giả đi Tao chơi con lip lên Đã đi Bò nè này Thằng bò nè này hơi thơm Trần tới đây bắn đi anh em Đồ hóa này Anh thứ giả đi Anh thứ giả đi Anh thứ giả đi xong anh rồng Anh 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 về ra rồng luôn đi Em với Nan ăn xong Gấu đang trên đây cơ mà ai mà ăn rồng mỹ Ta cầm cho ra đây anh em ra luôn mà đây 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 